to those facing physical limitations. Eric Weinmeyer, who in 2001 became the first blind person to reach the summit of Mount Everest and has since completed the seven summits, the highest points on every continent. The late actress Patty Duke, who portrayed Helen Keller in the 1962 film The Miracle Worker and later in the 1979 television adaptation of the movie, played the role of Ann Sullivan, Helen Keller's teacher. Stage and screen actor Anthony Natale, known from appearances in movies such as Jerry Maguire, Mr. Holland's Opus, and Children of a Lesser God. Coach Harold Jones in radio, whose story gained attention as the result of the 2003 movie Radio, starring Cuba Gooding Jr. and Ed Harris. Renowned eye surgeon Dr. Robert Morris and cornea transplant recipient Cameron Stovall and acclaimed jazz pianist and Steinway artist Marcus Roberts, who lost his sight at the age of five due to cataracts and glaucoma, among others. In 2016, Troy University's Department of Theater and Dance shed an artistic light on the life of Helen Keller through the performance of Helen Unveiled, a contemporary ballet by world-renowned Italian dancer and choreographer Adria Ferrali. Helen Keller once said, character cannot be developed in ease and quiet. Only through experience of trial and suffering can the soul be strengthened, vision cleared, ambition inspired, and success achieved. As we gather today for our 25th lecture, it is our hope that the words you hear and the legacy of Helen Keller will strengthen your soul 